Hi everybody, this is Vitorials and today we are gonna create logo design based on golden ratio or golden mean or golden sections. They are all common names of mathematical ratio that are roughly equals 1 to 1.61. And uh, the golden ratio is uh, vitally accurate in the nature and pleasing for the human eyes. And this is the reason why we should consider to use it in our design works, especially in logo design. So let's start our Adobe Illustrator tutorial how to use golden ratio to create a logo. First, go to the file new and create a new document. Set the width of the document to 1920 and the height of the document to 1080. Click create. As always, I'm gonna Turn off aligned pixels grid and increase the row size of my layers so everybody can see them pretty well. Let's start by defining golden ratio grid and go to your rectangle grid tool. Hit once on your artboard, set the width of your set the width of your grid tool to 800 pixels, set the height to 800 pixels. Set the number of horizontal dividers to 1, vertical dividers to 1, and set the skew value. It's possibly that you never use skew value, but it's absolutely perfect tool to define our golden grid. So, set the skew value to 100 divided by 1.618. Uh, roughly equals to golden mean and click tab to achieve the percentage value of our golden ratio and then duplicate this percentage value of golden ratio to the vertical skew click ok and voila we have our golden ratio grid absolutely perfect so then i'm gonna fill up this square and this square with our circles so grab your ellipse tool Hold Alt, hold, hold Shift to create a circle and fill it this rectangle. Then go to this rectangle. I use my Alt to duplicate my circle and uh, fill this square. Then I'm gonna duplicate my grid, scale it down, increase the stroke size. To one point and we have a couple of more squares but I'm gonna fill only one I'm gonna duplicate this uh, circle and fill this square so we have these three, three circles that are golden mean relation between each other and I'm gonna grab all of them I'm gonna set it like so Place it like so. Make sure that your all of your smart device is turned on. Hit Ctrl U or Command U to turn your smart device. Then I'm gonna select all of my circles that are now create this target shape. I'm gonna increase the stroke weight to one point. Then I'm gonna select only my middle circle and holding shift and alt move it to the bottom until you find this little prompt from your smart guide that your shapes are intersected only at one point on the bottom of this shape and now select this duplicate grab your rotate tool or click r holding alt click on the center of your composition set the angle of rotation to 72 degrees and click copy to produce a duplicate then ctrl d to repeat operations three more times then select all of your composition grab your shape builder tool shift m and select these shapes here like so and delete another stuff now that we have this shape we have these outlines and i want to add this gradient for them Start with the default gradient, add it to fill, get rid of stroke, 
Then I'm gonna select my dark slider and uh, using this small tiny menu on top right, open this menu and choose HCB mode, hue saturation brightness and then I'm gonna navigate to my slider and select a very dark blue like so. Then I'm gonna select this white slider, change to hue saturation brightness and select this bright blue color. Then I'm gonna move my bright blue to the center, duplicate my dark and move it to the side. Then I'm gonna duplicate my bright color and move it to the right and dark color to the left. So I have this so these are all these colors I'm gonna align with my gradient tool, like so. Then I need to duplicate them. So select all, all of your shape, grab your airdropper tool and uh, duplicate this gradient. Then I'm gonna align all of my gradients. And get rid of stroke. I need to delete one of the circles, this and this. Then I want to make a shadow, like here. Uh, to do my shadow I'm gonna select this uh, shape, go to my rotate tool and uh, using Alt find the center, click on it. Set the angle of rotation to 5 degrees, click copy to produce a duplicate, then uh, select this neighbor shape, Ctrl C, Ctrl F to produce a duplicate, select all of these intersecting duplicates, let me scale my composition, as you can see this intersection, you can use uh, shape builder tool or better use pathfinder third command intersect to create this shape give it solid color, go to the gray values, I use D6, 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 then go to your transparency panel, if you can find transparency or uh, pathfinder panel go to the windows and you can find it here, keep the shape selected, go to transparency and send the blending mode to multiply, and then return to your rotate tool, Find the center of your composition, here, alt click on it, For set the angle of rotation to 72 degrees, click copy to produce a duplicate, then ctrl D to repeat the separation, now we have our shadows and we need to place them on top and uh, the best solution I find is that select all of your entire shapes and using ctrl shift left bracket just place it on the bottom so all of our shadow automatically appears on top the last step that i need to do is to color my circle in the center i'm gonna do this by simply this gradient then i'm gonna delete this stop color on right go with my dark, dark stop color to the right As all is perfectly fine and this is how my friends you can utilize this golden ratio grid to build a logo designs if you like this tutorial please do not hesitate to thumb up subscribe and share it with your friend if you have any suggestion about logo design Please write it in the comment form below. I want to thank you for following to the end and have a nice day.